This is the continuation part of the pigments present in chloroplast. The first one was chlorophyll and here the two main pigments or the last two pigments apart from chlorophyll are phycobilins and carotenoids. So first one is phycobilin. Phycobilin it is water soluble like chlorophyll was insoluble in water phycobilin is water soluble. The structure is more or less similar to that of chlorophyll molecule but the major differences are uh, the structure is open chain tetrapyrrole. Like in chlorophyll, there were four uh, pyrrol rings and therefore tetrapyrrol structure in case of chlorophyll. Similarly, here also in case of phycobilin, tetrapyrrol structure but open in nature without a magnesium ion present in the center and a phytol tail. That is, no magnesium ion and no phytol chain or phytol chain tail in case of phycobilins. The two main types of phycobilins are phycocyanin blue in color and phycoerythrin red in color. These uh, two pigments or uh, basically phycobilins are isolated from rhodophyce that is red algae, cyanophyce and cryptophyce. The second one is carotenoids water insoluble just like chlorophyll it is water insoluble isolated from higher plants green brown red algae blue green algae or BGA, cryptomonads and photosynthetic bacteria. The two main types of carotenoids are carotenes which is orange, orange in color. If you uh, remember the color of carrot, I hope you all remember. So if you take the example of carrot, it is orange in color. So just remember carrot and you will remember the color of carotene, carotin that is orange in color and xanthophyll which is yellow in color. Now there are some few points uh, like chlorophyll, both chlorophyll A, uh, sorry, all the three chlorophyll molecules that is A, B and C, all these absorb blue uh, rays or absorb in the region of blue colored uh, rays between the range of 450 nanometer and in case of red region the absorption spectrum is between 650 to 700 nanometer of visible spectrum. In case of phycobilins, the absorption uh, range is between 500 to 600 nanometer of the visible spectrum and in case of xanthophyll, the absorption uh, range is between the 550 and 500 nanometer of the visible spectrum. These few uh, values are very important and often asked. Both the above pigments that is phycobilin and carotenoids, these are commonly known as accessory or secondary pigments because they protect the chlorophyll molecule from photooxidation. Photooxidation is the damage of chlorophyll pigment or the activities shown by chlorophyll pigment due to uh, long, uh, longer exposure under sunlight. Uh, the uh, too much of exposure of sunlight um, may damage uh, the function and the structure of chlorophyll molecule and this whole uh, damage is uh, protected or the protection is given by both these pigments and therefore they are known as accessory as well as secondary pigments. They both are needed in the process of photosynthesis as well as they are needed for the protection of chlorophyll molecule and therefore uh, chlorophyll molecule which is present in thylakoids uh, it is associated with these two pigments also for its protection in the thylakoid. The last point is that phycobilins and carotenoids these two are isoprenoid compound like in case of chlorophyll molecule the phytol tail or the phytol chain was isoprenoid in nature similarly in case of phycobilins and carotenoids the uh, structure or the compound is isoprenoid with unsaturated hydrocarbons that is presence of double bonds so this is the end of uh, the pigments present in chloroplast now my uh, further topics will focus mainly on the process of photosynthesis, light reaction, dark reaction and a few more important points regarding photosynthesis. Thank you.